yeah in my language we call it ontala yeah we call it ontala i almost said a bed a beautiful sunset it's really really looking beautiful so yeah. everyone welcome back to another video and today we're gonna do a tour as you have seen from the title of the video so some of you may recognize the surroundings we are actually driving um, through Onipa so Onipa is basically a town in the Shikoto region of northern Namibia right and it lies just outside Ondangwa so yeah guys I'm um, gonna do something really different today and I hope you really like this video please do give it a thumbs up uh, don't forget to share and subscribe thank you so much for watching welcome to my channel so um today i'm actually the different scenery right so i would like to give you guys some different type of content all right so i would actually like to give you a village house tour i hope you guys will be excited and i hope you guys will learn something and actually uh yeah just take something from it and um 
anyways i am sonia and welcome to my channel if you are new here and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back thank you so much for clicking do not forget to subscribe right and just like the video share with everybody that you know so just to give you a little bit of a rundown of where i am i'm in northern namibia all right in the town of ondangwa in a village called oneputa all right so we are currently in onaputa guys and um onaputa is basically in onipa you know like in namibia we do have um like you have the bigger town and the smaller one and then the village and then the, the constitutional area whatever, whatever so right now today we are currently in onaputa okay um yes onipa guys so yeah please come along with me i hope you really enjoy this uh, this vlog this tour today and as you can see the background is super 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 i'm just loving it guys please tell me let me know in the comment section what you think of this background it's currently autumn okay in namibia it's currently autumn um other countries will call it fall yes i do understand why they call it fall because the leaves are falling down honey the leaves are falling down so yeah this is the, the season after the harvest season where um the tree is actually starting to lose their leaves and to give room to new ones all right so guys come along with with me so that i can show you my village house all right so we are gonna start here right we're gonna start here we're gonna start here at the gate okay so as you can see there is like a fence running around okay from um the other side and then this is the actually the the, the entrance okay so i just want to show you a little bit of the fence um and like we're literally in the forest guys and the houses are so 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 far apart okay so i'm actually currently working walking walking on my two feet this is the fence area that i was telling you guys about um as you can see the fence is running all the way around it's really really huge guys and as you can see this is an overview of the house how the village house looks like okay so um on my far right we do have the the the, the toilet this is the pit lateral this is the toilet this is where um come do your business you know what i mean you know what i mean but me being a village girl guys please let me know do you prefer the bush or do you prefer the pit latrine because whenever i come to the village then i always prefer the bush like it's so natural okay maybe tmi but guys <laughs> that's just me talking so yeah um i i'm gonna show you the pit latrine right in a second just to sort of like open it and just uh, let you know so if there are any of my viewers who are not um in namibia or basically uh, will not be sure of what this is okay this is actually the common um the common structures that we build in northern namibia to actually um yeah to actually serve as a toilet okay i'm just going to open it right and as you can see as you enter inside right this is how it looks like basically that that pipe there running from um, down up to the very top it basically serves as a ventilation all right it's a ventilation area so so that the room is not so much um, uh, cramped okay so here we do have the toilet paper and then here we do have the seat okay it's not that fancy guys but for me it's fancy because um it's it, it it's really something okay so we do have the the cleaner also there um for some households they actually do have um like fancy toilet pots like they basically put toilet pots there like all toilet pots and stuff like that so yeah guys this is the pit latrine and let me just close it this is actually the first the first area that i'm going to show you okay now before we get into the house i'm going to show you around the house i just need to give you like a 360 of the house right okay so as as i am showing you the 360 of the house i also want to just chit chat with you guys and just let you know that you know what guys oneputa is so beautiful it's really 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 beautiful and just to add on guys like um this house is basically um owned by a woman it's owned by a lady it's owned by my grand <music> This is the house where I 
um, I moved to when I got married, basically my husband's uh, mom's house. All right, so guys, my own house. One day I'm gonna give you um, a tour as well of that part, you know, that side of me as well. So there in the background, we do have what we call the Oshipale. Okay, we have what we call Oshipale. This is where the threshing of the Mahangu is done right so yeah just in the background guys it's it's a bit funny so i'm gonna show you that later i'm gonna show you that later i'm gonna come back to it so right now i just want to give you a yes i just want to give you like a 360 of the house from the outside okay so as you can see hello as you can see we do have these two boys here and they are basically just yeah having fun and okay so guys tell me what do you think about the scenery what do you think about the landscape what do you think about the 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 um this what do you think about this you no know, i i honestly um love being here because every time i come here it's it gives me like a peace of mind it gives me this uh, sense of belonging and just no pressure at all you know sometimes we live in the city um and it's so noisy guys the city is so noisy 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 and i'm not talking about physical noise i am talking about um, mental noise i'm talking about spiritual noise i'm talking about uh emotional noise i am just talking about that kind of noise right so yes coming to the second part of the house tour not second but yes the second room all right so this is the chicken room <laughs> yeah you guessed it this is where the chickens are at guys so um they are not here right now because hello uh, the, the the chickens are hustling man the chickens are hustling so this is the chickens um the chickens room okay also known as Oshikuku, right? So, guys, I am going to um, give you guys some of the names in in my language, right? So that you can also basically better understand for my Oshiwambo speakers, um, just so that you can also understand. And for my non Oshiwambo speakers, we can stick to chicken house or chicken room or yes, chicken gathering space, basically, right? So that is where they sleep next. Yeah, that's why chicken room. Okay, so let us go inside. Inside, inside. Okay, so now guys, now you might be wondering what are the bricks doing here? So there's actually basically like some construction going on here. That is why this. Okay, now guys, please, my people, I want you to let me know why do people do this? Why do you put a number plate in front of your gate? Huh, <laughs> guys, this is so amazing. All right, so. This is one of the construction rooms that they are currently building and it's really huge, it's humongous. This is one of my nephews. Hello! Hello! <laughs> 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 and then we have Etuna over here. Hello, say hi. Hi. Um, are you not going to welcome the people? Yes. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the channel. All right, please subscribe. Tell them to subscribe. To subscribe, to subscribe. Uh huh. And what else? Uh, subscribe to the channel. Okay, thank you. All right, so we are continuing with the tour, guys. So. <laughs> These are my two boys over there. So this is the construction room that they are building. I'm actually um, not really sure like what that room is for, but it does look like a, a bedroom. It looks like a bedroom, all right? So then we, we we just have these random drums over here because this is where the, the builders actually use, like they use it to, um, like to, they use it as a tool basically, probably to climb on and then reach reach for for the top okay and as you can see here there's a whole duck you know there's a whole duck this is basically to um to to help with the formation of the dopis <laughs> the formation of the bricks all right guys so yeah so these are called dopis a dopi 
and over here we do have this room guys isn't this just a nice structure this is a bathroom washroom okay this is a washroom so um a washroom in northern namibia you you can actually build it with um whatever you find guys you can build it with whatever you find so here you have some palm leaves dried palm leaves you have some sticks you have some um as you can see this is is from um, um a, it's like a shade net okay and then the floor is basically just um yeah as you can see the builders were here they're just putting their stuff here but yeah guys so this is basically the washroom and then you can see over here there's so much space meaning that there's still room for for a few rooms <laughs> all right so this is the beautiful tree that i really love and admire about um this house it just gives that it just gives that color and that you know as you can see this this room over here is my mom-in-law's uh bedroom okay it's quite huge and i really really love it okay these are also some of the trees that are in the house so guys imagine having trees in the house inside the, the homestead okay so right here we do have we still have topis and then right here we also have the dry um um the dry um what you call this ihati. yeah it's called ihati in my language and this is basically like dried mahangu um mahangu plant um yeah guys please comment down below it just ran out of my head right now right so yes so um we do have another spot in the house which is actually my favorite spot because where i come from guys we don't have this this is awesome like we literally have running water in the house and this is such a blessing so yeah normally we would also just take um like put water here okay because in case the pipe gets clogged to the other side or it gets um um closed or bust the pipe bust like now i think they were fixing it as well so yeah that is basically just to keep the water for reserves okay so over here um this is another plant and over here i believe like as i said before guys this house is owned by a lady all right so basically um this is what we would call a bomber right um yeah this is this is the bomber and basically this is where the male this is where the male are supposed to get the why they do have this kind of stuff but it's basically like you come in and this is the men's room and then the other one is the ladies room and i'm just like yo okay so this is the garden guys it's, this is the garden i am not doing this in any particular order i'm not doing this in order of preference or in order of favorite whatever no i'm just doing it in right so yeah okay hi chickens so right over here we have we do have the wild lemon is it wild lemon matanga matanga and um my mom-in-law has a guava tree okay growing and yeah this is a guava tree and then she also has um lemon tree right this is lemon tree growing here um i will show you okay this is the door basically to the other side and then here we do have one room which is made of corrugated iron so come along i will also like to show you the others there are so many rooms guys i think we're gonna have two days we're gonna have two days to do this tour because yeah. Oh. 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 bread. Inside here. Let me just open. This is basically the kitchen, right? This is the kitchen, guys. And uh, yeah, welcome to the kitchen. This, as you can see, there are some few um, buckets. These buckets, most of them are just used for storage water storage and so forth and then we do have here the, the 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 stove the traditional stove this is where we used to cook everything yeah so we do have this is like now two stoves you can actually um cook you can actually cook um two pots 
branch at the same time and this here we do have the firewood and then here we just have the um the little stuff is the ones that you use for um to start the fire okay or the the assistance in starting the fire basically make it more you know and then over here we just have um, a handmade cupboard guys this is so creative because basically it's just like a bunch of sticks put together and then the cupboard is here so yeah and as you can see the room is really really well ventilated the room is well ventilated so meaning when the smoke comes it goes out immediately All right so let us go to the next room or the next part of the house okay over here we do have guys my mom-in-law loves plants she has plants everywhere plants everywhere okay wheelbarrow right there basically for the walkers and um then we also have a corner here now guys there's something very interesting about a, a november homestead there is always a chicken corner okay so this is a chicken corner basically unfortunately there are no eggs there are no eggs no okay so the chicken corner is basically where the where, where they allow the hens to breed their eggs um and then just yeah multiply guys okay here we have another chicken corner they actually make it so nice and cozy so that the chickens can feel comfortable and i do hope we'll find some eggs one day oh there are no eggs do find uh, some eggs someday here's another chicken corner no chicken corner but hen corner okay as you can see from here like if you see like a very um separated space it's probably a chicken corner like with um stuff like that all right so yeah over here we do have one of our doggies hello doggy okay so the other room that i want to show you guys is the storage the storage room this is basically just the um what you see in front okay oh yeah 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 let me mention the the material that is used this is basically the mahangu um the mahangu stock the mahangu stock dry stock Mm -hmm. basically that is used for you know so in northern namibia we don't waste any material okay so coming here inside we do have the storage the storage room so basically here we have the the modern stuff basically and you can see guys it's old cupboards but it's still very 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 useful and then over here you can see it's made of corrugated iron so it's very hot in this room so even as i'm filming here guys so we do have a gas stove over here um and then we also have like just some storage cupboards then we have another door which basically leads to another bigger storage and as you can see here guys it's also some storage but some of these things need to be packed some of these things really need to be packed and then just some food stuff it's probably it's very dark in here so you might not really see it all okay so let's move along and let us move along and then we have um this one is what we will call a limba a limba is basically the woman's uh storage it's it's a special woman's storage room so here my mom-in-law just keeps her stuff guys like you can just see here the okay this is just our stuff we came from um the city just a few hours ago and yeah as you can see i do see some interesting plants over here this looks like um eggplant but not so please guys please comment down below what is this fruit what is this fruit what is this fruit that is found in ondonga i am not sure what it is <laughs> all right guys so here there is also the marula um this is the marula um dried marula fruit seed okay that is actually chopped and then yeah inside there comes like some really really great um yeah coca-cola over here hello coca-cola okay so yeah guys i i have guys this house is so huge and i'm probably talking too much but yeah here there was a room but now the two boys are just playing hello there was a room here they removed it and now it's basically just like a playground for the boys okay so here is the other side i was talking about the the um, 
lemon tree over here and then we do have this hut over here as you can see i'm basically just going to yeah it's very lonely but as you can see this is basically the mahango storage this is where the mahango storage happens like when they when they harvest then they they put the mahango uh here right so let's go to the rooms this video is probably going to be so long guys but uh, i'm sorry for that but there is a lot to see okay so this is one of the guys rooms okay basically very big okay and then we have over here we do have the the um, let me see we do have a washroom so now this is a fancy washroom where you come in you walk in all right you walk in and then basically you just do the wash stuff here okay so this is a fancy washroom which basically has um yeah as you can see someone was bathing here and then it has a drainage system over here and then yeah guys this this washroom is basically a fancier one than the one we met before than the one we saw before okay and over here you we do have um this is my kitchen basically it's still under construction but i will give you a tour once it's all done okay and so as, as i'm saying my kitchen this is um our room okay this is our um bedroom basically okay and then over here it's basically the other extension of the bedroom okay so i will show you a wider view of the bedroom okay so this is what the bedroom looks like it's quite big hey and then over here we do have another fancy washroom okay as you can see let me just show you from the top you probably could see something something now if not hello there's me and just vlogging okay this is the room that i was telling you guys about like my mom-in-law's um, room basically very huge guys it's huge and beautiful and she has all these cute plants and cute plants over here and then yeah so what i love about this this house is basically the amount of space that is here and i also love the the plants guys like this they're such cute 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 looking plants and yeah and you can see they are really well taken off so yeah guys i think that is it for today um i'll probably show you other rooms as time goes but yeah thank you so much for for watching and So guys, this is the Oshipale. Um, it, it's a typical Oshiwambo um, Oshipale. So basically what you see here, the white looking like thing here, it's, um, it's like clay, right? It's clay which has been uh, put here for a reason so that when they remove... Okay, this over here, in my language, we call it... Um, We call it ontala. I almost said a bed. Ontala is loosely translated like a bed, right? But then kontala is where you put the mahangu, the sorghum, the whatever, whatever, whatever. So this is basically where they put everything and then they remove the stuff from them and then put it on the white, um, white looking like surface kind of thing. So as you can see the field and guys i just want to appreciate the beautiful sunset it's really really looking beautiful so yeah so yeah guys this is basically oshipale if i can just show you around um it, it's actually a distance from the house uh for various reasons because you know please comment down below um what do you guys call this in your language yeah or what is your favorite item that you actually have come across in this home tour house tour village house tour so signing out guys signing out guys thank you for watching bye